Good morning, everyone. It is Monday, and it is day one of our Keto Chow Challenge. We are so excited for this challenge. I cannot wait. We're actually going to vlog the entire week as we go through it, kind of talking about like how we're feeling, uh, what our experiences are like. We're going to measure our ketones as we go throughout the week, uh, kind of let you guys know like what's going on as we only drink shakes for this entire week. We're super excited about it, and I know a bunch of you guys are actually joining us on the challenge, so that's really exciting for us. Uh, right now, it is about 6 a.m. Uh, the sun is coming up behind me. You can see it's not too hot out here right now, so I am gonna go on a bike ride before it gets ridiculously hot. Rachel is already on her bicycle ride, and then what we're gonna do is when I get home, we're gonna each have a shake to start our day. I'm sure Rachel's gonna have her cup of coffee. She's allowed two 16-ounce mugs of coffee a day and then she's got a little bit of shipping to do I've got a couple of lawns that need to be cut and then when I get home from that what we're gonna do is we're gonna do some meal prep we're gonna make all the shakes that we're gonna drink for the rest of today as well as everything we're gonna have tomorrow and we'll kind of bring you guys along with that so we're really excited about this and we're really excited to be able to share this journey with you guys so look who I ran into while I was bike riding how could you tell it was me because you're wearing a goofy hat and you're riding your bicycle like Mary Poppins <laughs> So anyway, I was actually riding over here to show them the bunnies that we keep talking about. Look yes. at all of these bunnies, guys. So these bunnies have taken over the neighborhood. There's this is like the corner that they live on is this house over here behind that truck. But they're there. look at us, they're all over the place. So I rode around our neighborhood for a little while and then I came over here to Broward College to ride a few laps around the campus and I just finished up my five miles. But before I head home, I just wanted to stop and take a moment to say thank you. I wanted to thank all of you for all of the support that you guys have given us on Two Crazy Ketos. You know, when we started Two Crazy Ketos last year, it was honestly a joke. We started it as a date one day where we were kind of just sitting around being like, hey, let's make a YouTube video. And then in January, we really decided to to get serious with this channel because we wanted to give back to the community that really changed the trajectory of our lives. I mean, I don't know where I would be with my health if it wasn't for the ketogenic lifestyle because two and a half years ago, I was really starting to look at spending the rest of my life pretty much in a wheelchair. You know, we've talked about it a little bit, but I have a serious ankle injury. And two and a half years ago, I was at the point where I could barely walk anymore. And when I started keto, I started it for weight loss, not knowing of all of the other health benefits. And so now with all of the health benefits we've gotten, we just wanted to be able to give back to this community that has really changed our lives. And every day, you guys inspire us and you motivate us to keep going. You would motivate us to keep with the ketogenic lifestyle, to keep wanting to help people. And after we went to KetoCon, it really was just a confirmation that we love what we're doing. We love producing these videos. We love being able to help everybody. And we want you guys to know that we are here for you. When we say like, what's up family, we really mean it. We named our Facebook group, Two Crazy Ketos Family, because we consider you guys our family. And if there's anything you need, please reach out to us in our family group. We have some incredible people who have come into that group that are always there eager to answer your questions. And you can always shoot Rachel and I emails at Two Crazy Ketos. And we just wanna be able to help you in any way we can. I mean, we're not doctors, but we have been living this lifestyle for a couple of years. And we've learned a lot of things, both good and bad, through trial and error and through research and through studying. And if we can find an answer, if we know the answer, we'll try to help you or we'll even try to point you guys in the right direction. But we just, again, want to tell you guys how much we appreciate you, how much we love you and continue to pray for you guys every day. So I'm going to head home now. I'm going to take a shower. I'm going to make Rachel a cup of coffee. I'm going to make us a couple of shakes and then I'm going to head off to work. And then when I get back, like I said, we're going to do some meal prepping for the next two days. Hello. So are you ready for uh, a shake? I am absolutely ready for a shake, to be honest. Okay, so what flavor do you want? Vanilla. You want vanilla? Mm -hmm. Okay. 
So I figure what we're gonna do is I'm gonna make a shake for us now. You're sweaty. I know. Here, give me Ooh. a nice big hug. Yeah. Uh, mm. <laughs> so I'm gonna make a shake for us now. Okay. And I'll just make it like individually, and then I'm gonna go to work. And then when I get home, we'll some, I do said some we'll prepping. do some meal prepping. We can do some prepping. Yeah, we'll just prep like today and tomorrow. I think we need to dress preppy for our prepping. Something is wrong with this woman. I'm gonna pick a really preppy outfit, like penny loafers, <laughs> lots of plaid. I'm excited. I'm excited too. <laughs> So I'm looking at yours, you obviously have creamsicle. Yes, I made creamsicle. You've got vanilla. I've got vanilla. You've got three and a half tablespoons of butter in yours. So that's about 474 calories total. This one's action packed. And mine has five and a half tablespoons of butter. And it's just about like 600, somewhere around there. Wow. So the best thing is you can enter everything in the chronometer. I love that. I was thinking about, since it's morning, how many times I would make like a carnation instant breakfast or a Pediasure for Caleb or Anthony in the morning because they didn't want to eat a big breakfast before they went to school. Right. Boy, I wish we had this Something back like this. then. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you ready? Yeah. Let's try this. I'm about to be happy this week because this tastes really good. <clears throat> Okay, well, we're gonna drink our shakes. I'm gonna go take a shower so that I can go to work and get dirty Please. again. Please take a shower. <laughs> Let's find out what tasty treat is going on in here. Yummy chicken wings. So that, um, these are all the leftovers from yesterday's dinner, but they're all going to the boys because Joe and I can have none of them. We are not allowed to eat like chew food today. Let's find out if there is something that we can have though. Sir, mister. What? We need food. I have to go get butter. We have butter. We have like two sticks of butter. No, we need a lot of butter. Like how much butter are we talking? Okay, well, for me, I'm gonna use like five to six tablespoons per shake. So three shakes a day, so that's like what, two sticks a day? <laughs> and you're gonna use like three and a half to four tablespoons per shake. And so that's what, about a, one and a half sticks a day for you. Oh my Lord. So we need that times seven days. And honestly, like that breakfast was so filling. I mean, we don't even normally eat We don't breakfast. normally get the luxury of breakfast. And it was so filling and so good. I may continue this for a few days past seven. It was yummy. So, but of course, here's the thing. Look at this. Uh, you, we decided to start a challenge. You can't eat any food, right? Right. And look what comes in the mail today. I've got F-bomb nut butters. This is macadamia nut butter. This nice. stuff was amazing. We found it when we were at KetoCon. They sent me these meat sticks. Which like, you totally loved. These are like the best meat sticks ever. We, and we need to do a review on these and I can't eat them. So we're gonna have to do a review without eating them. That really stinks. Or we gotta do them next week. But this is a jalapeno pork stick. And then this is like, this one here is like all of the different flavors, like jalapeno. And then they, I think the other one was like some kind of a ghost pepper or something. Is it gonna blow your face off? Here, this was, a smokehouse, a salt and pepper, and a jalapeno. Nice. And then, oh, I didn't even open this one. What's in this one? For once, you know how it feels to not know what's coming in I the mail. I think I know what it is. Yeah. <gasps> Yum. F-bomb keto crunch cheddar crisps. You know you want to rip that open I and start eat eating these so bad, and now they've got to sit on my desk and torment me for a week. You better package those suckers up so you don't have to look at them. And I really have to go get butter, huh? Because it is pouring out. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but it, it is, is stormy it's 2 o'clock in the afternoon, I guess, right? It's got to be 2 o'clock. Oh, how good was that? It's 1.50. Did you hear that? Ooh. Like clockwork, South Florida you get a rainstorm between two and three o'clock. Well, I would say just wait 20 minutes and it'll be over, but I'm hungry. Uh, okay. So you gotta go to the grocery store and I bet you are about to get some seriously funny looks. I'm going to Costco. What are you doing? You said that we were gonna be meal prepping and you know I love a good theme. So I decided to go meal preppy. Get it, meal preppy? Cause there's nothing more- What is wrong with you? Well, there's nothing more preppy than like an 80s 
girl villain. So that's what I'm going for. You 80s look like a villain. little schoolgirl. Well, I'm going for an 80s girl villain. Can we do this? Yes, we're going to meal preppy. <laughs> Okay, so we're all done with our work, so we're going to prep some meals. Uh, we're in the middle of day one of the Keto Chow Challenge. We're going to do some meal prep, and we're going to show you how we plan on doing it. Uh, but before we do that, let's check our ketones, because right. we haven't checked our ketones or anything like that. So okay. let's go ahead and, you want to start with you or start with me? Please start with me. Ladies first. Ow. Okay, so Rachel's blood glucose is an 87, and your ketones are a 0.8. And I weighed myself this morning, just like for the video, <laughs> because I came back from KetoCon, or I left for KetoCon, I was 140, I came back from KetoCon, and I was 143, I got on the scale today, because we had chicken wings last night, and I am 146, so... More proof that the scale is the devil, and you do not ask the devil what kind of day you're going to have. We also... It's always going to be terrible. We also had bad chicken wings. Like, we didn't, like, cook them ourselves. Like, we went to Winn-Dixie, and we were like, you know what? We're going to do seven days of no food. We're going to just eat that. Yeah, let's eat canola oil. So hopefully I got a good sample. I don't want to have to redo this and waste the strip. Okay, so my Ooh. ketones are a 0.8, which, which is twinsies. actually really high for me. That's hugely high for you. And my blood glucose is a 90. All so, right. So that's where we're at. So we're going to check it every day, probably around lunchtime and see like how it's going. Did you weigh yourself? I did weigh myself. And this morning I weighed um, 184 pounds. All right. Okay. So here's what we're doing because we didn't talk about it this morning when we were doing a little bit of vlogging. Mm -hmm. uh, Rachel, we're trying to hit her like right around 1,600 calories. I like that. And I'm trying to hit right around 2,000 calories. Okay. Okay. And that's actually a little bit higher than your normal calories. Usually it you're is. around 1,500, 1,500. Thus the smile. Okay. So we're going to start off with Rachel's. And then we're going to do mine. And I found, like, doing some research and talking to Chris and stuff, the easiest way to do this is with chronometer. Okay, so all we have to do is type in. So what flavor do you want to say? We're going to, you want vanilla, right? Vanilla. So we're going to do vanilla, and we're going to make three of them at one time. So we're okay. going to add a food. Okay, so add food. And all of the keto chow flavors are in here. So we're going to go keto chow, vanilla. Now, he's, there's a couple of different versions. Mm -hmm. um, so this is, I believe, the 2.5 version. It's their newest version. So we're going to just choose 2.5 vanilla. We're going to use three scoops because that's three meals. Right. Okay. And now, so that's 354 calories. Now, all we have to do is add whatever kind of fat we're going to use into here to bring it up to your total calories. Okay. So I'm just going to go in and I'm going to add in Kerrygold butter. Yeah. Ooh, we got the fancy stuff. I feel so I light. did get the fancy stuff. Um, I know it's going to taste better, but like Chris said, you don't have to use Kerrygold. We choose Kerrygold because we like the taste better. Right. And we do like the whole grass-fed aspect, but there's no, like, nutritional difference no, between it just regular and... No, it tastes really and to good. to us, it just tastes a lot better. You know, you do get the benefits of it being grass-fed, so you don't have to worry about, like, you know, are the cows, like, eating soy and that kind of stuff. These but cows are comfy as far and as the cozy. fat profiles, there's no difference between using Kerrygold and using, like, just regular butter. So we're going to go by ounces because these are those big wide sticks, and I've got my scale here. Oh, they scare me. Okay, and sticks. so I think you're going to be right around five and a half ounces. We're going to start at six ounces. All I'm going to do is type in six. So... Six ounces will be 1215 calories plus 354, and that will be 1,569 calories. That's like right at where we want to be. So if we wanted to maybe just increase a little bit and you just kind of play with it. So if we go 6.1 ounces, let's see, that would put it at 1589. So we'll go 6.2. Well, I like this customization. So 6.2 6 ounces is 15, it's 16.10. Why don't we start you off? We'll just do the six ounces. Okay. okay so six ounces um, is going to be just shy of two sticks. There you go. Oh my gosh, it's exactly 6.2. 6.2 ounces. So that's going to put you at 1,610 calories. So we're going to go ahead and melt that. You only got to do it for like 30 or 40 seconds. Okay. 
Why don't you get another glass one and we can start the next batch of butter. I love it. I am running on no zip fizz and one cup of coffee. You're doing good. I'm proud of myself, but also, wow. I miss those two things. Lots of coffee and zip fizz. Okay, so that's gonna be the next one. Now, while we're waiting for that, we need 48 ounces of warm water. 48 ounces of warm water. So you got your butter, mm -hmm. you got your water, we got our stuff. So we are gonna use the Vitamix to mix it up. This way we get it nice and blended. And we get to use the big container. Because we have this big container that came with we it. We never get to use it. And we it. don't get to use it because it's too big, especially for only two people. So what we're gonna do is, I'm just gonna, Chris said to put just a little bit of water in the bottom. Okay. Although he does it with an immersion blender. Oh, that's nice. Okay. And then we're just going to pour the butter in here. Look at that delicious butter go. Golden happiness. Now, what you're supposed to do is, he said 14 ounces of water per shake. Okay. Okay. But you can add a little bit more. You can add a little bit less depending on how thick you want the shake. I've just been rounding it off to 16 ounces. Plus, you get more volume. You know I like that. So, you know, so three of them at 16 ounces, that's going to be 48 ounces of water total. And then we just got our vanilla here, which is what you said you want to do, right? I do. So we're going to put three scoops in here. Three. Nice. Okay, so you got three scoops of that, and then we're going to add the rest of the water in here. And it's making a mess. We never use this giant cup measure either. I know, it's huge. We're using all kinds of stuff. Okay. And we'll... Put the lid on. And this Vitamix is not nearly as noisy as our old one. No. The old I keep one. thinking something's wrong with this thing because it's like not as noisy. Okay, so we got a grease pencil. What we're just going to do is we're going to just put like R V on it. So Rachel Vanilla. All right. Okay, because yours are going to be obviously different than mine. And then the grease pencil we, we could, like, take off. Yeah. Okay? Well, you're going to know it's mine because of fun colors. How, uh, so let's just go ahead and open all, the, all three of them up. Don't cheat me. Anything left over goes to me. No. Okay, so we can Kudos. toss those off. Let me go rinse this out. And Kudos we'll your on your disbursement. Now let's do your chocolate. So you need another 48 ounces of water. Warm. So we got the water. Do we have the butter? I do. I already melted it. Okay. And then this butter over here is for mine. Okay, so again, Chris said to put a little bit in, but I think that that really matters when it, with the immersion blender because you're putting it in the bottom of the thing. Yeah. With the, with the Vitamix, the blade is already down there, so... We're just going to kind of tilt it because this is such a big, giant glass thing. Oh, we're all over the place. Doesn't that look pretty? It looks delicious is what it looks. Like sunrise. Okay. And we will put the rest of the water in there. You can put that to the side. You can even probably fill it up with the next one. Sure. One thing they said with the cocoa powder, any of the chocolate flavored ones, mm -hmm. um, you it are going to blend so it. It's not going to, like, this. the butter's not going to separate. Oh, he did say you have to mix it kind of once you put it in there. Okay. Let me go do that first. Oh, there it goes. It's darkening up a little bit. What You're also using, like, golden yellow, like, cherry gold. <laughs> Okay, so what I was saying is, um, Chris said, with the chocolate flavors, you're not going to have the butter separate once you mix it. Okay. And the reason that the butter won't separate is the acacia fiber in there. So what's going to happen, though, is with the chocolate flavors, you may get some settling oh, of okay. the chocolate itself. So he said when, when you're going to do is you're just going to put it into the refrigerator and then with the shaker ball in here, uh -huh. it'll blend right up. So it's not the butter that's separating. It's just the chocolate settling. Oh, okay. Oh my gosh. This stuff is making me hungry. It smells so good. Like you definitely smell the toffee. Like it's really coming through. Yeah, I can really smell that toffee. Will it promote autophagy? What's wrong with you? 
Okay, so those three are all done. I'll go rinse out and we'll do mine. Now, I'm actually going to experiment a little bit for one of my meals today. Okay. I'm going to actually try the, the chili one. Right. Or the, the uh, taco one, but mm -hmm. I'm going to use duck fat. I don't know if you're allowed to do that, but I'm going to do it. You're going to do it? Well, I mean, it's there's no carbs or anything. It's a fat. So we're going to go keto chow orange. And now I'm actually, instead of using butter, uh -huh. I'm going to try it with coconut oil. Ooh, nice. Okay, so we need to like rinse out one of these things. Yep. So I've got the Kirkland coconut oil. And let's see, we're going to go with six tablespoons is 720 calories. So 14 tablespoons so is 20, 2,058 calories. So we'll go 13.5 tablespoons. Do you need to melt 1,998 this? calories. Yes, we wow. need to melt that too. 1998? That was a great year. Okay, so we're going to do 1998. That was the year I graduated from college. So we don't even need the scale for That's this. That's scary. So we got one. I said 13 and a half. Make sure I don't lose count. Four, eight, eight coconut oils. Oh, 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 oh. Nine, <laughs> ten, eleven, twelve. You say thirteen? Thirteen. And a half? Yeah, I got a half tablespoon measure right here. Wow. Okay, so let's go ahead and melt that down. Oh my so gracious. So just, like, that won't take long to melt. It's half melted as it is. Because it's too hot in here. It's not too hot in here. So for the taco, I'm going to use butter in three of them. And then I'm going to do one for today with, with the duck fat to see how it tastes. So for me, I got it. Let's see how much. I think I need like eight ounces would bring me to 2001 calorie with the spicy taco. Perfect. So you want to just, we'll wrap this one up and reuse it this way. I think that's a good plan. I was going to say that. Like it's so much easier to just do and it. Just give me a new stick. Brand new stick. So we'll melt that in a second. So let's do the uh, orange cream. So we're going to put, I'm just going to drop the oil in here. Wow. water in here as I spill it all over my scale look what a good wife I am I'm like get, making sure we get all of your butter and you don't get cheated at all well thank you you need all your fat that smells good oh my goodness that totally legit smells like orange cream I don't know how they come up with such like dead on perfect recipes You know what it reminds me of? The or the Orange Julius stand. That's what it smells Speaking like. Speaking of 80s, like, girl villains, they were always at the mall in front of the Orange Julius okay, stand. Okay, you ready? stuck to the side here. I'm going to have to get it off. That smells so good. It's like flooding the kitchen with orange. Reminds me of that soaring ride at Disney. Yes. Epcot, right where they like pipe in the orange smell. going for with the coconut like an orange coconut flavor because that mm. coconut oil is going to have a flavor to it that looks delicious why does it look like i have less than you do? did you not oh because of the, the oil oh that's kind of interesting because the oil i'm using less oil than your butter is use butter get more volume okay you want to close those up and mark them for you are me? definitely going to wash that thoroughly Otherwise, ew, tomato soup and orange. You got the water, the butter? I do have the water and the butter. But you're gonna use less than the 48 ounces because you're gonna make one separate, aren't no, you? No, I'm gonna make. Don't use your teeth, kids. I can't kids. get it open. 
I gotta smell this one. Oh my it smells goodness. like tacos. It totally smells like tacos. So you didn't quite melt it all. Uh oh. I think it'll blend up fine though. And I don't want to cheat myself of any of this, so. Definitely gonna remember that in the future. Well, I want all my butter. I know. Well, you let my butter just go down the sink. Okay. All so right. You can get rid of that. Yum. Again, we're using a little bit more water than like, you know, they call for, but we just want more volume. Plus 48 ounces is a lot easier to like mark on the thing. Yeah. So you want to experiment with me for tacos. our lunch and do duck fat with taco seasoning? Oh my gosh. Aren't you a little scared? Okay, well I'll do mine alone then. All right. Okay, so we're going to go four tablespoons of duck fat. Wow. That is just floating right to the top. I feel like this is either going to be like, where have you been all my life or epic fail. Oh, it's epic duck fat. It's epic duck fat. Hey, Chris, I don't know if this is going to work, but it sounds really good. Sounds I mean, good. duck fat and taco seasoning. Let's see. We're going one scoop. You may need to give me a sip of this just to try it. Now here's the cool thing about using the Vitamix. So Chris said that you should not use hot water. You gotta use warm water. Okay. Hot water could make, make it start clumping and stuff. Mm -hmm. But I'm thinking, I want my soup hot, right? Right. So the Vitamix, I can just run it a little while. And it will actually it'll make it hot. Little... Or you can just stick it in the microwave. Okay, so this is my lunch. Wow. It makes a lot, like you feel not deprived, right? Like, I mean, that's a nice serving. Is it any good? That's good. Is it? Can I have to try Honestly, I, I would even want more salt in it, personally. I really taste a lot, like the duck fat is very pronounced. He's, he's not laying down. Like, if you don't like the taste of duck fat, you won't like that. I like it. But I mean, it's very flavorful. Tastes more like Thanksgiving. Okay, so what do you want for lunch? Chocolate, please. Okay, you want chocolate? You're gonna use butter or you wanna use coconut oil? Um, I wanna use butter. Okay, so for one meal for you, you're gonna use two and a half ounces of butter. Or rather, I'm sorry, two ounces of butter. After making all of the others, this looks like such a piddly amount of butter. <laughs> okay, so let's pour that in there. Now pour my water into my butter thing. I want it all this time. Look at that, I would have missed all of that. Oh, okay, man. let's get rid of those. Thank goodness. We can put that butter away before it really gets bad room temperature. You mean the coconut oil? No, the butter. Oh, oh yeah. We will see you later, butter. It's 
sometimes the powder gets stuck to the side. That's why we have this little, what is this thing called? Spatula. No. Yes. <laughs> Do you want to add some ice cubes to make this cold since you're drinking it now? No, it tastes so good. Like, I'm, I just want to drink it like that. <laughs> I've never tasted this flavor before. I just assumed it would be awesome. And I was right! Oh my goodness. Well, there you go. Thank you. All right, so I guess this is lunch. Should we cheers? Okay, so meal number two, it's what, 4.40. We're going to try to stop eating by like 6.30, 7 o'clock. So it we're late. Yeah, already? I know. Our day is like, like flown by. So. Cheers. Yeah, I like that. Technica. I mean, I definitely would, I would, I just wanted to experiment with this. Mm -hmm. It's an option. I mean, you're going to get all that awesome duck fat. I think I like the butter better, be although I haven't tried it with butter yet, just because you get a lot more. Yeah. Now, I thought that I would immediately want this ice cold, but it also tastes like a really delicious, like, warm coffee drink. I'm not hating that. So, so we did want to show you guys before we finish up. So this is what our meal prep is. Wow. We basically each have six meals. So we'll use one of them for tonight. Yeah. And then we have enough to get through all of tomorrow. And then Wednesday, we'll have to, like, redo the meal prep for dinner. I love this. This is so easy. If you're just, like, starting out on keto and yep. you're just, like, no, you're going to have to do some withdrawal of, like, old food. Isn't it nice to just be, like, we're done. Yeah. That's it. No more negotiation. I Honestly, I would meal prep life. more, but this is, like, all the mugs we have. And now we have to go find room in the refrigerator for all these. And Chris said it actually tastes better, like, when you let it sit in the refrigerator overnight. So Okay, that makes me really happy. Okay, so we'll check in with you guys at dinner time. Well, day one is in the books. We did it. We did it. And I actually feel great. Like, I feel super energized. Like, I had some work just got dropped off, and I thought, well, I won't start that until tomorrow. But I had so much energy, I just went ahead and handled it, like, tonight. Yeah, I actually, we're, it's 8 o'clock. We're just eating now, which is an hour later than we said we were not going to eat past 7 o'clock. But at 7 o'clock, I went to Rachel, and I was like, um, you ready to eat our last shake? And she's like, I'm not hungry. Did you check and see like, is that a pod person? Is that my actual wife? I don't think I've ever heard those words come out of your mouth. Imposter. <laughs> I'm wondering if we'll go to bed tonight. Like I, I feel so energized now. Let's take a look at our macros and see like, maybe there's a reason why we're so energized. Okay. So, well, let's see. First of all, I'm finishing the day with the orange cream with the coconut oil. And I've got a vanilla going on with butter. Do you want to try this with the coconut? Yeah. Take a Is little sip of it. I'm going to take a sip of yours though. Cause I, you can't, you're stealing my calories. Wow. Is that good? It's like, um, wow. Very tropical. The, the coping nut flavor is really coming through out of the, it's out nice. of the coconut oil. But the orange isn't like, the orange isn't going to take a back seat. It's right there too. And that creamy, that's nice. That's a very nice like tropical tasting drink. Yeah, I like it. Drink. Okay, so let's go over my macros. Um, so, oh, I got yours pulled up. So we'll All start right. with yours. So you finished the day with 1,522 calories. Right where so we wanted right to be. where we wanted to be between 15 and 1,600. We're not going for an exact number. No. You can yeah. by putting in the right facts the way we showed you before, but you know, we just want to be an approximate. Okay, so 1,522 calories. You finished the day with um, 77 grams of protein, 128.8 grams of fat. Wow. 20 total carbohydrates. Total? That's your total carbs. But of those total carbs, you ended up with 18.6 grams of fiber, which is coming from the acacia gum, which is the best fiber you can have in keto. Wow. So you had a total of 1.4 net carbs for the entire day. The whole day. day. Well, no day. wonder I feel great. I'm not like being bogged down with carbs. And just to give you an idea that your whole diet for the day was 77% fat, 2% carbs, 21% protein. So like perfect, right perfect. where I want to be. Yeah. And you're even right where we always want to be on total carbs. Man. Okay. That's so crazy. So then for me... Let's see, I finished the day with 1,989 calories. It is 82% fat, 4% carbs, 14% protein. 
Um, I have 82% fat. That's a amazing. total of 76 grams of protein, 23.9 grams of carbs, 181.3 grams of fat. Now, one of the reasons my carbs are higher is the spicy taco is a little bit higher. I think the okay. spicy taco is like 8.7 uh, total carbs. Okay, but the net carbs are like I was gonna ridiculous. Say, like, so nothing. just to, I'm just pulling down because our chronometer is set up for total carbs, so it doesn't give me net carbs at the top. I have to go all the way down to the bottom. Right. Okay. So uh, we had 23.9 total carbs, 22.5 grams of fiber, 1.4 net carbs for the entire day. That is incredible, and I felt good because you didn't have like a whole bunch of side snacks that I didn't get to have. Mm -hmm. So like we, I f we feel equal even though there's different things just going on in these bottles. Just, just more fat. And honestly, my second meal of the day was much smaller because I only had four tablespoons of duck fat compared to your two ounces, which is like six tablespoons. There of was more calories and stuff going on, but it more was more calories, a but smaller less amount. amount. <clears throat> yeah. So tomorrow's vlog is going to be much shorter. Yeah, we took the time to like meal prep today. Yeah. And because we did, we don't have so much to do tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow is like nothing. Tomorrow you just get us screwing around. <laughs> yeah. Acting the fool. So, we yeah. didn't drain it in. Yeah, Not well, be so a lot crazy. of people were asking, like, can you show us how you're going to meal prep it? So, we wanted to kind of document how we do everything using chronometer because I think chronometer is the easiest way to do it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it makes it super simple. Let it do the work. But so far, I'm like really impressed. Like very filling, tastes really good. I'm enjoying it. I can totally see us using this. You know when we need to use this? Saturday nights. Yeah. Instead, because we're in a bind and like a time crunch and like there's too long between our lunch meal and then like dinner, we wind up making a really terrible choice usually, which is like chicken wings. Right. Fried in oil that's you know, yeah, not, not great. Not, not a terrible non-keto choice. No, it's a good, it's good for, it's keto. Not what we normally eat. And <clears throat> Sunday mornings, I usually wake up feeling like garbage because I just ate chicken wings that were fried in canola oil. Right, so you've got some inflammatory right. oils going on, so. And even Saturday afternoon, a lot of times you head off to church at 2 o'clock in the afternoon and don't eat at all. Right, yeah. So, like you just did that this past weekend, so something like this would be good for that. It really would. So I could definitely see using it not every single day, but just having it as an option, having a few shakes made up for like an on-the-go deal. I mean, tomorrow we've got to take Caleb and mom to the airport because yep. they're going out to Washington, D.C. Yeah. on their annual grandmother and grandson trip, which I love. But like we got to get early and just get in the car and then I've got meetings after that. No problem. Yep. Just take this with me. So. Ready to go. So that is our video for today. If you guys have any questions on Keto Chow, I'm going to leave a link down below in the description. And, you know, Chris has got tons of information on there. Oh, absolutely. And you can message him directly. He's got, like, fantastic response time. Yeah. Like, email him. He'll get right back email to you. Email or, even better yet, go to Instagram. Mm -hmm. And he answers those messages very, very quickly. But, I mean, he's got everything on the website, like, why he's using the certain fibers that he's using. He's got, like, why is he using sucralose over things like monk fruit and stevia and stuff like that. And how it's such an infinitesimal amount that, like, it doesn't even really affect you. Yeah. Uh, so, really, a lot of good information on there. He did also give us a coupon code if you are interested in Keto Chow. Yay. It is Two Crazy Ketos, and I believe it gets you 10% off. So Bonus. So that's our video for today. If you like what you saw, do us a favor, hit that like button down below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the little bell icon and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to and it. And we'll check in with you guys tomorrow. Good night. Bye.